Alrighty, how are we doing today? I'm the Yankee Feek, and we're playing Crash Landing. This is episode two, and as you can see, it's about to be daytime. I did do a little more sifting. I dug out a little bit of dust from underneath there since last episode, and there's a couple things I need to address from last episode. Um, one of those things being that I didn't really um, explain too well what is going on in the bottom left-hand corner, and if I can show you... I can't really show you with my hand, but the temperature bar is our temperature, obviously, and 37 is a pretty stable temperature. And the little bl black dots on the temperature gauge right there show exactly how hot we are at that moment. And, of course, there's the water meter in the bottom that shows us how much water we have left. So, now this is our second morning, and we should probably grab our gun as well. And we are going to go out and hopefully get more loot than we did this last night because that was pretty sad last time. Um, I'm going to open this guy up, and I'm going to whack these guys. Ooh, a little baby guy got through there. I'm going to whack these guys with my metoc, and I'm taking a little damage there. And that's not good because I'm hungry, and I can't recover. And I'm going to whack these guys because they're pretty, I think they're one-hit kills, one or two-hit kills. Um, I can't swing there. I'm going to go ahead and do that. There you go. You're dead, too. Great. Anybody else up there that wants to tango? No. And we definitely want to get these drops today. Ugh. Oh. Better kill you. Okay. That's good. And I'm going to whack you once. There we go. And we get a helmet. That's a nice little bonus. Um, oh, I should have brought my salt out here with me. That would have been a great idea. Because I want to make some zombie jerky as we go. Um, I'm going to go ahead and grab that really quickly. Another thing from last episode is I realized the ridiculous amount of times I said really quickly, and I thought it was kind of funny, even after the fact. It's not sad, it's just, yeah. So you're dead, creeper, and we're going to go around and hopefully get more loot than we did the first day. So we can walk now, because we get some food in our bellies. Ooh, bones. Nice. Bones. And there's a creeper out there. And I also did not realize that in the first episode the audio does not work for um, for Minecraft. The Minecraft audio was not audible because of the system, not the system, the way I have it set up right now with my recording. I'm just using QuickTime Player on a MacBook, so I can't really capture in-game sound. There's no option for that, I've looked. So you get my voice and you get to see what I'm doing, but you don't get to hear what I hear. Which is kind of disappointing, but um, at the same time, I don't think it should be too big of a deal. Uh, just a couple instances of that are when there were creepers blowing up and I'm just bumping off taking damage and you can't hear anything. That might get a little confusing. But um, I'm ready to keep on looking around here. And I feel prepared for the series to come. I'm not too worried about the uh, audio problems. And of course, this is a very early stage of YouTubing for me, I guess, because, yeah, my words are not coming out. I don't know why. But um, I'm not putting too much financial effort into this. I'm just going to release the content which is the most important part, in my opinion. And more bones, thank you. That is what we were missing before. And I think that's enough bones to do our achievement, actually. Um, we are going to also finish up some indoor things that we needed to get done last episode. I did get some more bone meal from sifting, so I'm going to use a little bit of that really quickly here. Really quickly. Yeah. I, can, I can hear it every time I say it now. Oh, grow, you stupid tree. Er, the luck is not changed in that front. Let's grab a little more cobblestone here, too. That will help us. That will certainly help us. And I want to get a couple more things crafted. I think I'll wait till nighttime to do most of it, but um, I need to do something. Oh, and also, I need my water. Where's my water? I need... Duh. As you can see, my camel pack is empty, so I'm, I'm going to need to make a little more dirty water. I'm just going to use one of these right now. Dirty water. Let's cook that. There we go. 
and then I'm going to load myself up with that. I'm also going to make a little bit more of this. We got plenty of zombie flesh. That was much better than the first day as well. Um, so yeah, we still have our shears that we're going to be using for our trees. And also, I did talk about the watering can last episode and did not do anything with it. I have the stone here for it, and I just realized I wasted the bone meal that I needed. Oh, I don't want to have to use up a bone, if I can at all help it. Let me see if I can get a bone meal from any of this here. And I realize that my hunger is going down really quickly. Yep, first, first try right there. Um, but now we should be able to craft it. Let me see. I'm going to need one more piece of wood made up there. Crafting table. We're going to need a bowl. we got some extra bowls now, too. Uh, where's our stone? There, 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 there. And a bone meal. We have an empty watering can, but we come outside and click on this thing, and it should be full. Oh, still empty. It should be full. Stop saying empty. There we go. I think it was clicking with the wrong mouse button. But now, hopefully, if I watering plant this, or watering, watering plant, watering can this enough, it should grow into a tree, I'm hoping. It's kind of like really, really, really inefficient bone meal. Yeah, there we go. But it definitely does increase the speed. And I have the matok now, so I can get through these trees much faster and get plenty of wood for what we need to do for the next day. So I will continue on here. I don't think I'm going to make this episode as long as the first one. I think I'm going to do the achievements I wanted to get done today in this book, and then I'll call it an episode. It probably won't be more than the next night. Um... So yeah, don't expect too much from this episode. And this episode, with the quest that I want to do, I kind of want to figure out the food situation. Because that will be helpful. This is very tedious. I'm tempted to cut, but I don't think I should, because at that point, there will not be very much to do. and It will be an extremely short episode. But um, I'm going to keep shearing some stuff here. I might talk about some other plans I have in mind for this series. Um, yeah, why don't we do that? So, eventually, the plan here with our base, anyway, is to get a wall all the way around the pyruthium and a nice area out here for us to work. And, oh, that's not getting good. So, the food situation tonight as well. It is very important to get done somewhat early because there are diminishing returns on in this mod pack, which makes your food less effective. It restores less hunger each time um, you eat a food over and over again. I know it doesn't work exactly like that, but that's the general idea. So I am... Oh, there go my shears. Um, I might make a crook because I don't have the iron prepared. And crooks are easy. Right there, and another wood crook. And I think I still have a damaged one in here. Yep, there we go. Maybe we'll get another silkworm too, which would be awesome. Because I wanted to do something with a silkworm in a tree. Some of you might know if you click a silkworm onto a tree with leaves, then the silkworm will spread, and eventually you'll basically get a string tree. String tree. String tree. Stringy. Okay. But anyway, we'll need plenty of wood for all of our crafting and whatnot. And wood is not something that you can get all hours of the night at this point in the game. So this is important to do now, I think. There we go. Got another one. And I do want to get a silkworm and try to get this planted before night comes. Um... As for dust, I'm not too worried about that right now because I do have a section underneath there. Oh, and you know what I didn't get from the mob drops that I was hoping I kind of would? You can sometimes get it from skeletons. Is flint. And I did not get a flint, so I might actually need to waste an iron for something that I was meaning to craft to take care of our lighting. Um, I might as well explain that now. 
Um, I'm going to be making a an iron saw to be able be able to uh, cut up glowstone, which we get from sifting. Did we get a silkworm? No. Okay. And I realized that the water is going down also, so I will be taking care of that momentarily. Urgh, you stupid thing grow. But it is almost night time, so I'm sh not too worried. I still have some cold water too, which is really good for early game. Recovers 25%. Okay, there we go. I just want to finish this one tree, and then I will take care of my water. Anyway, you get cut down, all of you. I've got plenty of leaves to make water, it's just going to take a little bit of time. And, um, ooh, okay. So we didn't get anything from any of that. I kind of just want to let these leaves decay. Yeah, I'm going to have to, because you're not in a good spot here, it is getting late. Um, I do think I have enough cobble for what I want to do tonight. Oh, I want to grab this really quick too. A couple pieces of this clay. And it's getting really dark, we should get inside right about now. Okay, so let me get some more dirt going, because that is of priority right now. Seeing the water bar dropping down. Um, I do have another piece of dirt, I'm going to get that dirty water going. Get that dirty water going. Um, nothing's burning. I don't know why that was on before. <sighs> Let's get this going faster. Eat something. Okay, anyway, the quest, though. That is going to be helpful for us today. So, we look here. We need cooking utensils. I'm going to do that also. I need a mixing bowl, a mortar and pastille, cutting board. Okay, so I do have some... S I'm actually going to have to cook up. Oh, I didn't put anything in the furnace for that. Let's do that now. So, I can do a couple things right now. I can make this guy? No, yeah, hold on. I can make one of these things really quickly. Of course, I do everything really quickly. I can hear it every time I say it now, but it doesn't keep me from saying it. And my water is going down very fast, so I'm going to drink a cold water, just so I don't have to rush my dirty water production. And it's nighttime, so my heat will be at a lower temp- my temperature will be lower, and therefore less water will be ne needed overall. I do want to make a chest too, because chests are awesome. I think I'm gonna make this chest for all of the- I closed this, right? Yeah, okay. That would have been bad if I didn't. I'm gonna put this chest here, and I'm gonna put that- my cooking thingies in it. Yes, spiderizer for food. Don't be confused. Uh, bones. I do need five bones on me, actually. Um, so yeah, uh, what, I should probably have something going in here. Let's get... Uh, frustration. I just want some wood so I can smelt some things. There. Not all of you. Just a couple of you. That should be good. Um, I also do want to show you the glowstone stuff tonight, but we got plenty of time. It's nighttime. No rush. Okay. More dirt. Gotta keep my mind very alert so I know what I'm doing. So we have time for that. Um, another thing, I need to smelt iron too. I have so much stuff to smelt. I don't really want to make another slab furnace though because cobblestone's pretty valuable. Um, I know I have four slabs and I'd only need one. Okay, I want to get you done there. Come on. Um, oh. It's very difficult right now to concentrate and get everything together. You just have to stay focused. Stay focused. Okay, quest book. Let's look at this guy. This might help. Mortar and steel. What is this guy? I forgot some of these recipes. Um, I'm gonna have to look these up on camera. Three stone, and then the juicer I know requires stone, too. So we're gonna need six pieces of stone total. I have four. So, um, we got that cooked. We're gonna need two more pieces of stone. Um, and my food is already pretty much out. Um, oh, also, the other part of this quest here, not this quest, a different quest. 
um, eating a cooked silkworm or getting a cooked silkworm, which is food, and getting a rice seed. That is a big part of our um, to-do list as well. Uh, dirt, please. Thank you. More dirt. I could make more barrels to speed this up. I might actually make another barrel. Okay, because we kind of like dirt. Dirt is good. Dirt is good because dirt is water, pretty much. Okay, so we're playing the waiting game with the smelting that we got going on, pretty much. I'm going to cook the silkworm now, and I'm going to get the iron ready to smelt. What was it that I wanted to do with the iron again? Oh, I needed, yeah, two pieces for this. Oh, that's not two pieces. This is two pieces. So we're very low on iron still. Ah, that was a creeper. I know you couldn't hear it, but I did, and it startled me quite a bit. There's the cooked silkworm. Yes. So now we have that quest done. Yay. Okay, I'm back here. Sorry about that, everybody. I was interrupted last time I was recording, and it is actually a new day. So we will pick this up right where we left off, though. So um, I believe we were getting ourselves a rice seed. Or we already got ourselves a rice seed, that is. Um, so that helps. We don't have the cooked silkworm anymore, but we have rice seed, which is much better. Much better. And I need food again. Um, hello. Where's my salt? I want salt for my zombie flesh. Uh, this point in the game is very difficult to, um, not to make yourself super hungry. But, um, I believe also I was going to make my cooking utensils so I can get going on some cooking and also on the tools of the trade achievement. So let's do the cooking one first because you can see my hunger is not doing so hot. So we need, we have the mixing bowl, we need the mortar and steel, which I believe is just, um, whoops, no, let's get, there we go, um, three of these and a stick, yep, there we go. And then the juicer, I know, is a pressure plate and then a stone on top there. Yeah. And then this last one requires one piece of iron. I forgot if I got that cooking. I have two iron going. That is probably for shears, though. I don't know if I want to use that quite yet. But, you know, I'm going to have to. So I'm going to get one piece of this and get, I believe... Blank, a stick, and an iron. I don't know the order. I know it's diagonal. Like that. There we go. Perfect. A cutting board. And I also do want to make another crafting station. That's how you make a crafting station out of a crafting table, in case you didn't know. And I already made my chest. So we're going to plop this down right here, and I'm going to make this my little cooking area. Let's put this helmet away, because we have too much stuff in our inventory. Let's put all our tools in here. And we should probably claim our reward, which is a very big reward, is the mixing, or just the pot, not the mixing pot. But yes, this allows us to make most of the food that we can out of crops. So I better get going with that really quickly. Um, really quickly, yeah. <laughs> so right now I want to try to get, <clears throat> sorry about that, some rice seed going. And I have my matok, it's right there and there, and I don't know how much bone meal I have, I don't have any. So once bone meal becomes a little more, um, less scarce, I guess, once I get some more, then I can get going and get a ton of rice seeds for that. Um, right here, let's start the tools of the trade so we can unlock some more achievements, that'll help us greatly. A stone hammer and a bone crook, these are pretty simple, bone crook. It's just four bones, and then the hammer, I need more sticks again, of course, is two diagonal sticks and then two diagonal cobblestone. So now, this can allow us to make gravel and sand and all kinds of stuff too, so that's helpful. Oh, I do still get the silkworm. I did not see that, so it doesn't eat up your silkworm when you get the achievement. So let's try to get this done really fast here, really fast, not really quickly. So we need a bone, knife, and crossbar. Wait, crossbar? Crossbar. Okay, so I need some patterns. Okay, we're getting through it. We're getting through it. 
We got this. Okay, I want to get this done before it's daytime, and then do my round, and then probably end the episode. Knife. Sword. Where's the knife? Knife, and then crossbar. Which I believe is... Uh, where is it? This one? No. No. There we go. Okay. And we need a little bit of bone stuff. Let's make this into bone meal. Yeah. And then, oh, I tossed my silk around. I want that. Sorry. Um, right here. That's where we do it. It's out of there. Knife. Can we make a knife with one? Yeah, we can. That's good. We can make this with one, too, I think. They're all burning. I hear them. Okay, we got that achievement. Uh, manual detect. We got it. Um, now armor. I have to make a piece of each armor with this. So let's make a chest plate. Leggings. Uh, boots. And a helmet. Okay. I need that. And let's claim the reward. We get to pick one of these things. I think I'm going to go with just red hot canister. And I want to make sure I have room in my inventory really right now. Uh, get this, get this, get this, get this. Okay. And claim reward. Select, selected. Claim reward. Awesome. We get some pretty good stuff there. Let's put this back. And the stuff we get isn't what's so amazing. We can put this on ourselves right now. Where'd it go? Where did it just go? Did I throw it? Yeah, okay. Good. Oh, and I'm losing out on my bodily functions right now. Uh, it's not good. I'm not focusing. Let's eat our silkworm for food. And I need water. Do I have any water? I need to make some dirt. I have dirt. Let's get some more dirt. Oh, all these quests are very... make it very difficult to pay attention to what I'm trying to do. Um, dirt. There we go. Get some water. Let's get that in there. And that. Okay. Before we go outside, I need to get my water. I need to drink a cold water here right now. Oh, wait, no. Say, there's my cold. Cold water right now. Okay, awesome. Is this a regular water bottle? Yeah, it is. Okay, I need to fill myself up with that. Right there, and let's get dirty water. Let's get more of that going. Oh, man, it's so hot, and I need water, and... That's what makes this game so fun, is you're never done doing stuff. Okay. Right now, I need to unlock this. Uh, actually, let's go outside and do our rounds, and then I will show you the next, what what kind of stuff we unlocked from that. All kinds of spiders out here. There's a tough spider, too, which is not fun. Ow, you hit me, you stupid, tough spider. I want to shoot him, actually, because... Oh, crap. Oh, God. Ah, get out of here, you jerk. I want that tough spider to die, but he's very tough. And I don't want to waste all my hunger on him. There we go. Oh, there's another one. Are you kidding me? God darn it. Okay, I think I can open this one. Anyway. Ow! That does a lot of damage. I cannot heal myself yet. I have to be extremely careful now. Okay, got that. Oh my god, another tough spider. Are you kidding me? I better not have stuff despawning on me. Come on, come on. Oh, I need food. Um. Hmm, what am I gonna do? Zombie flesh, yep, it's gonna have to do. Let's see it. Let's get it. Zombie flesh. I don't have any fish yet, which is a nice early game thing you can get from sifting as well. Um, water, there we go, I want that. Yep, no fish. Let's get this on us. Ah, oh, it's so annoying. Where'd you go? You just damage yourself a little bit. I got that. Great, now I need to pick up stuff. And hopefully zombie flesh. 
This is not good, guys, in case you were wondering how this ranks on good to bad. Okay, good. Thank you for not destroying me. Oh, I need to get my food going really, 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 really badly right now. Mm, but I need stuff to work with, like bones. Bones are very big right now. Please give me bones. Bones. Bonesy bones. Bones. Where are all of my skeleton bones? I've had really bad luck with bones so far. Zombie flesh is going to have to be good for now, too. Get some more salt from sifting. Sorry, I think I'm out of salt. Not an ideal situation. Where bones? Bones! And a feather. Just a bone. I need more bones. I get it. Where is it? Did it despawn? Jesus Christ. Can I get a break or what? Can I get a break? Or what? Or what? I think it just despawned on me. Right in front of my face. So now I'm sad. Because I don't have food. All I have is zombie flesh. I'm gonna have to make some of this stuff up into that. Oh, I'm actually, can I? I have absolutely no bones anywhere, which is really bad. I'm gonna have to sift a little bit to get what I need, but I don't have dirt to sift. Oh, I need a second to gather myself here. Yeah, I'm hurt and I'm hungry. Ooh. Okay, let's think here. What are we gonna do? We need to make stock, which we can make with rice. I think, I don't know actually. I know you can use bones and some other vegetation stuff, but bones are definitely what I need for stock. But I don't have that. Hmm. I need, I need bones. I just need bones. Come on. That was like the most unlucky game I think I've ever had with this game. Not getting anything. Blaze powder. Great. Oh, we are so hungry right now. It's not even possible to do anything. Um, oh, do I have my cooked silkworm? I ate it. No, I didn't eat it. I can't make anything. Let me see. How do you make stock again? Is there anything else you can make stock out of? Stock. Tofu bones are what I needed the most for that. And then you can make it out of, like, all these little things. Oh, man. Can I, like, uncraft this? No. Uh, I could eat spider eyes. I need dust for this purpose. Hmm. I'm really in jam here, so I think I'm just going to keep recording and see what happens, because I have a feeling I'm not going to be playing the series too much longer. 